Hey there, today's video is on absolute value inequalities. There's three things that I want you to know before we look at some examples. The first is that absolute value inequalities are compound inequalities. And for that reason, we're going to see words like and and or floating around in our response. I'm going to give you a gimmick in step two, which will help you classify the problem as an and problem or an or problem. To do this, you're going to need to isolate the absolute value expression. Once you've done this, you're going to look at the inequality symbol and say to yourself, greater or less than. After you've done this, you're going to write that word down. And you're going to create two new inequalities. The first is going to be a rewrite of the original problem, but without the absolute value bars. The second is going to be a rewrite of the original inequality, but you're going to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol, and you're also going to negate the right-hand side. It's absolutely essential that you write the connecting word and or or in between the two rewrites. Let's look at example one. The absolute value of x plus 1 is less than 5. I don't see this as a less than, though. I see this as a less than. So my first rewrite is going to be x plus 1 is less than 5. Solving that, we end up with x is less than 4. Now we're going to do the second rewrite. The second rewrite is going to be x plus 1 is greater than negative 5. Solving this, we get x is greater than negative 6. Now, I'm going to place both of these results on the number line. Greater would imply an open circle and then shading to the right. x is less than 4 would be an open circle, but shading to the left. Because of the word and, we know we have to look for an overlap. And the overlap happens between negative 6 and 4. So the solution set's going to be negative 6, 4. Looking at example 2, we have to do a little bit more work. We have to start by isolating the absolute value expression. I'll start by adding 3 to both sides. Next, I'll divide by 2. You'll notice the greater than or equal to symbol, but I say to myself, greater, so I'm going to write the word or in between. My first rewrite will be x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 6. Solving that, I get x is greater than or equal to 5. Writing the second inequality, we get x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 6. And solving that, we get x is less than or equal to negative 7. I'll now graph these on the number line. Because this is an or problem, I'm going to look for the presence of any shading. There's shading to the left in blue. There's shading to the right in red. And the answer, the solution, is going to be negative infinity to negative 7 union 5 to infinity. In the last example, we have the absolute value of x plus 1 is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. Looking at this inequality symbol, I see this as an and problem, less than. My first rewrite is going to be x plus 1 is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. Subtracting 2x from both sides, I get negative x is less than or equal to negative 4, which means x is greater than or equal to 4. Don't forget to flip the switch in that case. For the second rewrite, we get x plus 1 is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. So adding 2x to both sides, we get 3x is greater than or equal to 2. 
and x is greater than or equal to 2 thirds. Now I'll graph both of these solutions on the number line. Because of the word and, I know I'm going to look for overlapping colors. The overlap begins at 4 and goes on forever to the right, which is infinity. So the solution set's going to be 4 in a bracket to infinity.